In today's video I'm gonna show you how you can create this cool wallpapers, this cool melting kind of effect with simple techniques, simple tricks, using gradient map to create this cool looking colors and using liquify to create this cool letters and much much more. Stay till the end. Okay, so let's move to Adobe Photoshop and create a new file. So I already have a 4K file, so it's a simple 4K resolution, so 3840 to 160. And the first step, let's change the color of the background. So let's go with a black. Now we want to add some text. So I'm gonna type a simple love you and maybe change the font to something like this. Okay, this looks nice. Maybe we can do is a bit bigger okay let's make sure that this is at the center and now what we want to do is to go and click right mouse button and convert to smart object and now let's go and add a blur gaussian blur just a tiny bit okay and now we want to go to filter and then liquify and now if we go to liquify you can see we only work on the second layer if that makes sense but if we turn off the backdrop we if we have a white text we it's really hard to see anything here so i can show you a trick that it took me a while to figure it out but if we go here and turn off the fill from 100 to 0 and then if we go to filter and liquify and we click show backdrop and use all layers and then mode behind we can see our text layer on the black background and work only on this one layer so really really useful okay so here we want to just play with those letters just use your imagination Okay, so I think this is gonna do a job for me. And now let's go and turn off fill to 100%. We're gonna create a new adjustment layer. So we go to adjustments. If you don't see this window, you can just go to window and then here turn on adjustments. So I go to here adjustments and I select gradient map. And then we go to gradient map and we select a gradient. I'm gonna use this one. So just a simple four colors. And that's basically the main thing of this effect. We can go here and add a second Gaussian blur to increase the effect a bit. Now I can go to gradient map and tweak it a bit and just play here with these colors and find the perfect position. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this as it is right now. What we can do with this, we can go and select the brush and just create a simple, if we turn off the gradient map for now, simple that, I just use a brush with 0% zero, zero hardness. We can tweak it a bit and create something like this or maybe tweak it a bit different. Okay. And now we can put this behind and change the opacity mode a bit. We can put those few additional elements in a few places. We can also invert this and put above our, la our layer. We can do some cool stuff with it. Just add a cool, cool details. Okay, this looks nice. And now let's turn off the gradient map for now. Let's put everything in one group. Let's create a new layer and click apply image. So now we've merged everything to one layer and we can turn on the gradient map. And now with this new layer, what I really like to do is to go to filter gallery and then go to sketch and halftone pattern. Let's play with those values here a bit. Okay, so this is one effect and it also re looks really, really cool, but let's invert this. And now we can duplicate this layer and put this on difference mode. And if we move this a bit, we can create this cool effect. Now let's put a mask on it. Let's also reduce the opacity. Okay, and now let's put a mask on it, fill it with black color, and then let's select the brush and we can add this burning kind of effect and this looks really really awesome and now for the final steps i'm gonna go to pexels.com site and look up for some paper texture let's see this one we're gonna put this at the top and just blend with everything
Okay, so we can put one paper texture before our gradient map. And for the final steps, I'd really like to go create a new layer and then image, apply image, and then go to filter, lens correction, put a fixed red cyan fringe to minus 100 and fixed green magenta fringe to 100. And here we're gonna leave zero. Here a small value of to on the remove distortion and right now let's go here and just reapply this reapply this again so about three or four times and we can get this cool chromatic aberration on our letters okay and for the final step we can go to filter camera raw filter and play with some values here just see what works best for your art I'm gonna increase also the detail and go to effects and add a bit of grain and let's also add a vignette here okay and that's it for today's video i hope you liked it i hope you learned something from it please give a like comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos let me know in comments what do you think about this one if you want to be more up to date with everything what i do you can follow me up on instagram the link is down in the description and what can i say more have an amazing day and to the next time, bye.